proceed, I want to make an introduction of the person who, in my estimation, is the most important individual in this room, and that's my wife, Elizabeth, yes. who is, uh, <laughs> is very involved in sustainable uh, development, uh, uh, more specifically, uh, regenerative agriculture, which I'm going to talk about uh, in a moment. Uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, uh, the SDG, is the essence, as we know, of what the UN is all about. Uh, ultimately, when we think of the United Nations and the principles which brought the UN together, they bespeak of the imperative of human unity, that we're all one, that the world is interdependent, that the world is interconnected. The, the goals of sustainable development uh, uh, derive from that underlying awareness that this isn't just about one person or one country, it's about all of us. And so today's meeting is an affirmation of the potential of digital technologies to, uh, to take regenerative approaches to agriculture, the environment, human health, to create anew the world, uh, a return to a new Eden, a universe of unlimited possibilities. We realize, though, that we inhabit a world of uh, hope and of happenstance. The world we dwell in uh, and the reality in which we participate is socially constructed and it is culturally affirmed. All of us are, any one of us might be held in check by old notions of the world. For example, I believe there is a misunderstanding of the nature of power. The decentralization, the decentralized basis of blockchain presents the distribution of social, economic, and political power, leading to the sovereignty of self, the actual protection of our sense of agency, the first model of the United States, e pluribus unum, uh, means out of many, uh, we are one. It explores the paradox of diversity and multiplicity, of uh, singularity, merging into the oneness of all. Uh, we have a moment here where we actually begin to close the gap in time and space which separates us through a borderless approach to uh, technology, uh, which will at some point change the very nature of the nation state in which participates in this uh, forum. Uh, we are also hobbled by a misunderstanding of the nature of wealth. The thought that wealth is finite leads to a centralization of wealth, to the distribution of wealth upwards. Uh, and, the, um, uh, and the acceleration of wealth also is met at this confluence of events by blockchain, uh, which presents, uh, with its companion cryptocurrency, a frontal challenge to the debt-based monetary system. <laughs> Uh, this is really a, a moment for a profound transformation. As someone who in Congress uh, uh, led the effort to challenge the Federal Reserve and who understood that their practices of uh, quantitative easing, of creating money out of nothing, simply helps certain participants in a central banking system. As someone who studied monetary policy, thanks to my wife, and looked at fractional reserve banking, which you know basically is involved in the creation of money out of nothing. And then to see those who want to challenge the creative potential which exists in new financial forms is to be aware how critical a moment we're in right now, where we're called upon to take a stand for a new world. We're not put in some kind of a prison of thought that uh, uh, that locks us away from new possibilities. Uh, 
we, we then, uh, when we look at something such as this dilemma we're faced with in the world of uh, global climate change, where atmospheric carbon is shot above 400 parts per million, and we're starting to see the knock-on effects. And yet there's ideas out there which where blockchain can, can meet to change the world, uh, where you can actually, through the simple practice of, of, of uh, soil carbon sequestration, a cardinal principle of regenerative agriculture, uh, sequester soil carbon, and measure it, and monetize it, tokenize it, and start to invert the equation of a world that's being destroyed, of land that's being destroyed, of water that's being lost, and suddenly we renew the world. And blockchain technology is a significant part of it. So I, I think that we're, we're really present here at this moment. And I think all of us feel it. Well, we're really at the dawn of a new world. But we must be wise and faithful stu stewards of that new world dawning. And the way that we do that is with high principles and ethical standards guiding the development of uh, blockchain as a platform for social and economic progress. This really is a time for a manifesto of such high principles to be issued by those working in this realm, enabling the creative economic potential of blockchain to flourish. We're really at a point where we're redefining value. We're redefining our economy. We're redefining the structure of our world. The, the social and economic structure. We're changing our social and economic reality. This forum today puts us on the threshold of a whole new vision of what the world can be. And I think that we can be very excited and very confident, but at the same time know that we need to start to articulate a set of principles that helps the whole of this world that we are creating. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. And, uh,